Salute tubes guys, welcome back another day, another video. I see that Chronicles is all out in the stores now. Um, saw some at my targets and Walmarts around here. Been seeing it a lot online, so we're gonna take a break from ripping the Chronicles. I'll let you guys have some fun with it. Um, if you haven't gotten any yet, uh, it's out there, so go ahead and try and get you some, whether it's retail or resale. Retail or resale, excuse me. Uh, fun little product. Uh, I myself liked Mosaic better for sure, got a little spoiled with it, but Chronicles is still pretty decent. So, uh, different type of video today. I wanted to show you guys some cards that I picked up at the hobby shop. Um, as you guys know, I'm kind of on the budget side of the hobby, so you can usually find me, you know, rummaging through the, the 25 cent bins or boxes, excuse me, whatever you guys got and uh, just trying to find some cool cards or just some steals so that's what we have here today I just wanted to show you guys what I have here now the only ones that didn't come out of the 25 cent uh, box were these guys right here uh, which I got on a pretty decent deal anyway so we'll, we'll discuss those when we get to them uh, before we get into the video uh, if you guys are liking what you're seeing go ahead like and subscribe for me please Subscriber counts going up slowly, but surely and uh, Yeah See that we're uh, having some fun here. So let's just keep it going. So A lot of these cards some of them are just kind of cards that are you know of stars from back in the day from when I was a kid uh, That I thought were cool and others are um, Some cards that I think I can make a buck off of so we're just gonna get into it with these guys right here This is just a random stack of cards here we got uh, the flare series uh, flare by Fleer and I believe this is from uh, 2002 so you got some some pretty cool cards here they're like a uh, like a matte type finish so like I said these are the tw part of the 25 cent bin we got some Shaquille O'Neal this Vince Carter here is pretty dope picked that up because he recently retired we got some Kevin Garnett Dirk Nowinski T Mac attack, a little AI action, and some Timmy D. Put these right here as we go through them. And then these are just some random cards. We got, you know, Steve Francis. Uh, I, like, I like to collect a lot of the older, like, Bulls players since I'm a Bulls fan. So Antonio Davis, you got Lou Aldang, Ben Gordon, Eddie Curry. Not the best Chicago Bull we ever had, but, you know. Keeps things nostalgic. Uh, pretty cool. Tracy McGrady, another Lou Aldang. A little third year, Andre Iguodala. Sebastian Telfair, I was a really big fan of his back in the day. Um, just never panned out in the NBA, unfortunately. And uh, recently got sentenced to like a three year prison bid for like a weapons charge. So uh, hopefully he can get his stuff together after he gets out. Cause I mean, he's a really good guy for sure. As far as like what he did for his community and stuff. So Michael Ray Richardson, little Tyrus Thomas, uh, rookie card here. Uh, if, you, if you're a Bulls fan, you know that this is kind of cringeworthy because we traded Tyrus Thomas for LaMarcus Aldridge on draft night. Don't want to talk about that. Uh, some random rated rookies that I found in the box too. So we got Colin Sexton, little Michael Bridges, Marvin Bagley. Not too bad of guys there to you know catch for 25 cents. And then some old school. We got like Gilbert Arenas, th uh, third year J.R. Smith, another Ben Gordon, uh, second year Brandon Ingram, little Dante DiVincenzo. Uh, insert there NBA hoops, another Ben Gordon. Jermaine O'Neal and then Stevie the franchise I was a huge fan of his too when I was a kid I uh, really liked the his style of play and everything but uh, he actually did not last very long in the league had a lot of issues too so but he was definitely a fun player while it lasted I uh, also found a uh, little Kobe White in there too uh, it's just his prism uh, college card so it's nothing too major but I mean if you can get a prism card for 25 cents why not right and then I picked up a Tatum uh, Tatum second year excuse me prism as well so not his rookie card but you know a second year prism for Jason Tatum who's 
on his way to being, you know, a great player in the league. He already is. He's probably going to be an all-star at some point. So I figured 25 cents, it's not a bad purchase at all by any means. These guys right here, what I also thought was a pretty, pretty cool stack. If I can just put them right here. This is the um, Fleer Showcase Series, also 2002. No rookies in here, but like I said, these are just some pretty cool cards of uh, some guys that you know were stars back in the day or used to be stars. As you can see, we got like Scottie Pippen, little Baron Davis, Kurt Thomas, Tracy McGrady. These cards are in amazing condition too. It's like a pearl white finish on them. If you can see that in the light, there, it's pretty. They're pretty cool. Definitely. Uh, Definitely like a higher end type car from back in the day. So I'm surprised they, they still look this good for being 18 years old. You know, Jason Williams, Steve Nash, Eddie Robinson, Jesus, this guy. A little Larry Hughes action, you know, Alan Houston, Chris Weber. Just guys that were, you know, solid, solid players back in the day. Make sure solid players as well as, you know, some stars. You got Q Rich right there. A little Andre Miller action, Steve Smith, Marcus Camby. I tried to pick out all the, uh, there were some duplicates in there. So, Catino Mobley, PJ Brown, Brian Russell, Fatality, Michael Jordan, <laughs> 1998. Brian Russell got the business in the finals. We got Wally Zerbiak, another Allen Houston, Kenyon Martin. Anton Jameson, guy was a straight beast back in the day when he was playing. Damon Stoudemire. We got Rashard Lewis. Robert Horry. I mean, these guys are legends. Legends of the game from back in the day. Sharif Abdul-Rahim. You got Elton Brand. A little Dirk action. Timmy D. Jalen Rose. Reggie Miller. Ron Mercer, not so much a legend, but cool card nonetheless. Former Chicago Bull. Another Anton Jameson. Oh, I'm losing my cards here. Uh, Eddie Griffin. Eddie Jones. Eddie Griffin played for the Timberwolves. So, sorry about that, Eddie. Michael Finley, Paige Stojakovic, another Steve Francis. Old David Robinson. Gary Payton. Another Robert Horry. Brendan Haywood. Lamar Odom. And then, this is I thought was really cool. Evidently, the person whose cards these were... Uh, did not send in their redemption card from back in back in the day. So I I should see if I could still do this. Unfortunately, I believe it says the offer expired on January thirty first, two thousand and three. So um, that sucks. Fleer, if you if you got any of these Kevin Garnett cards lying around the factory still and wanna wanna let me have that, I will take my redemption card from you guys. So. Definitely, definitely thought that was pretty cool that the person still had that in there. Uh, don't know why they didn't redeem it though. Okay, moving on. Uh, these guys right here. So I found some. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's two more back there. As we all know, T.J. Warren's killing it. So these are some prism parallels here of T.J. Warren. I believe these are from 2018-2019, so they're not like rookies or second-year cards of TJ Warren or anything, but uh, they are some pretty dope inserts, uh, and I think that, uh, you know, can make, make a quick buck off of them maybe, you know, throw them up online. I believe there's another one right here too. This is a numbered TJ Warren out of 175 uh, blue disco, I think, prism, so... 25 cents guys I uh, figured they were kind of worth it so I thought these are pretty cool and like I said um, they aren't anything special by any means they're not rookies or second years or anything like that but uh, the way the card game is today these could you know can make a couple bucks off of these guys for sure uh, everyone's you know always down for some prism it ages well it holds its value Especially you got one 23 at a 175 there too. All in great condition. So 
Figured for 25 cents, you couldn't not go wrong. Uh, we also got some some buddy heels. Believe these are these might be second year buddy heels. Optics. Blue wave maybe. I'm not too sure guys as far as what the name is, but buddy heel was killing it. So and then we have just the contenders of uh buddy healed. Deer and Fox, Marvin Bagley, and then Harrison Barnes too. So not too bad there. Um, then we have another player who's killing it. A couple cards here of him. Yusuf Nurkic. As you guys know, the Blazers are kind of kind of doing what they do in the playoffs right now, or as we make our way to the playoffs. Excuse me for the NBA. So these are some pretty cool parallels that I saw. We got a red disco here. This one's numbered to 125. Uh, these are 17, sorry, 18, 19. So, like I said, 25 cents all day, every day I'll take those. And then found a Karis Levert, second year silver prism. Not bad there. Karis Levert killing it for the uh, Nets. And then... Marcus Smart and a Terry Rozier. Pink Cracked Ice Prisms. 2018-2019. Next. Alright guys, sorry. There was, uh... Looks like we got a delivery at the door, so... Dog started barking a little bit. All good, we are back. A little cut in the video, never hurt anyone. Next we have a... Another stack of cards here. So the first cards I'm gonna go through are gonna be these guys right here. So pretty much just a stack of Ray Allen cards here. Some tops finest. So I mean can't really go wrong with these at all for 25 cents. I believe 2003. Okay, so uh, definitely you know not rookie cards by any means, but. Uh, Ray Allen cards are definitely going up. I saw that a little bit on um, Card Ladder, I believe is the app that I use. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, ten Ray Allen cards, uh, you know, 25 cents each. Who knows, you know? You never know with the, with cards like these, especially a, a higher end card like the these Tops Finest. So beautiful cards there just a little, couple more Ray Allen's that's to Kevin Garnett we'll talk about him these are upper decks uh, also 2002-2003 not bad looking cards by any means and you already know what we're going to talk about next here guys I mean you saw a sneak peek so uh, these are just some Kevin Garnett cards that I also picked up in there Pretty cool. These top loaders are extremely dirty though, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good condition. I figure for 25 cents, what could go wrong? Uh, then we got these guys right here. Now these I did not get in the 25 cent bin, uh, but these, I was able to make a, a solid deal on them. It's a stack of DJ Wilson optic rated rookies. I was watching some Bucks games, and DJ Wilson was DJ Wilson was getting some playing time. Uh, he was always showing like little flashes, like in the regular season and stuff, like when things were normal that he could play. So uh, he's been getting a little bit more playing time in the bubble, and he can play. He can play. So I figured, you know, there's a giant stack there. Why not buy them? I think I got 20. I think there's 22 of them. I think I got them down to like 15 bucks on them. So not a bad deal in my opinion. Uh, DJ Wilson might be stuck behind, you know, a bunch of guys in the Bulls. Uh, sorry, not the Bulls, the Bucks uh, roster. Uh, but, you know, you never know. He could leave and uh, make a name for himself in the league. So I figured a little low risk, high reward. That's the name of my game, you guys know it. 
And then the last card I wanted to show you, I haven't looked any comps up on it. I don't know if it's even worth much, but you know we gotta pick the GOAT up wherever we go. So, and I do not have any Michael Jordan Wizards cards at all. But this is from that Flare series, so it's got that nice little pearl, pearl white to it. Amazing condition. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it's worth much at all. I mean, it's MJ and the Wizards. Definitely an older card. Maybe probably maybe one of the last cards ever made uh, of Michael Jordan, to be honest with you. So, But who could pass that up? I mean, come on. Beautiful card here. And it's the GOAT. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely my favorite card probably out of the bunch here that I picked up. But that kind of concludes the video, guys. I know we were kind of everywhere. I tried to keep it a little on track to the best of my ability but uh, it just goes to show you what you can find you know if you got the time to go through the the 25 cent bin or the 10 I know some places have like 10 cent bins so just wanted to share some of my findings with you and maybe encourage you guys to to do the same at you guys hobby shop so hope you guys like the video if you guys are ripping chronicles hope you guys enjoy that too it's Friday, so enjoy the Friday, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will hopefully have a new video off for you guys on Sunday. So thank you for watching. Take it easy.